Why, why are you beefing with Yay? Say, say again? Say, why are you beefing with Yay? Why am I beefing with Yay? <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's an interesting way to, to phrase it. Because a beef has to go both ways. No, it, it, it does. It genuinely does. I think, first of all, you know, in, in my limited understanding of, of the world, beef has always been something that generally will happen between two hip-hop artists. I was never beefing with Kanye West. I was concerned about Kanye West. <laughs> and no, and genuinely, I mean this, because if somebody says to me, or to anyone, that they have a mental health issue, and they say to everyone that when they don't take their medication, they're unable to control themselves, and then everyone ignores when that person is having an episode and they haven't taken their medication, and then they, they platform the person, and then they, they, they put them out. I, I, I sometimes think it's a, little, um, it's a little shitty, to be honest with you, you know? Like, my grandfather was bipolar, and one thing we knew in the family was... And I'm not saying Kanye is, by the way. I'm just saying my grandfather was bipolar. And one thing we knew was, you know, when he was having one of his episodes, he could act in a certain way, he could do certain things. He'd take the family car, he'd be gone, he'd be driving off. But our job was to support him. We'd go, like, did he take his medication? What is he saying? What is he not saying? I said, it would be weird if I was there going, oh, my, my grandfather's, by, you know, he's having an episode again. Oh, I'm going viral tonight. It's, it, I, think it's, I think it's a little bit strange. And so it's, it's interesting how, you know, you, what you're asking me makes sense because that's how you see the framing. Somebody be, having beef. Even if you see in any of the comments I said about him, is I concern, definitely. I grew up loving Kanye West. There are a few hip-hop artists who have shaped how I see music, the punchlines that he had in every single song. It was like listening to comedy, the sketches that he had. He loves stand-up comedy. Do you know what I mean? His mom, you know, his mom's influence on him, his influence on hip-hop culture, his influence on fashion, how he changed the paradigm. I grew up loving this man. I still love him despite the shit that he talks. And so for me, it's not a beef. But one thing I'll tell you is when I grew up in South Africa, one thing I loved was you grew up in a space where people would say, Mazok Jela, we're gonna tell you to your face. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're not, gonna, we're not gonna sit by and see you doing something and just act like, oh no, we didn't see it. I sometimes feel like Americans enjoy doing that. They, they see it, they see it, they see it. And then something really bad happens and they're like, oh, I wish we had spoken about it. I wish <laughs> someone had said something. I, yeah, I'm like, no. So, so for me, you know, I think there are elements of Ye where he knows, he knows when he's being an asshole and he's admitted this. He knows, he knows when he's pushing the envelope and he's trying to say, but there are moments where I go, people, what, what, what is happening here? Like, what, you know what I mean? So it's, it's not beefing with somebody. I don't have beef with a human being who has expressed openly that they're dealing with a mental health issue. I don't have beef with that human being. What I have beef with is us as society not coming together around a person and going like, hey, 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 maybe this is not the moment to put a microphone in your face so that you just go off saying everything. If this is what you want to say when you're on your medication, then, then that's a different story. But because you've told us that, I'm not gonna sit by and say that. So if he wants to process it as beef, I understand it. I've never had beef with him. I'm still playing college dropout. I'm still playing the music. <laughs> I still love the man that I think he is. And I understand that he's gone through a lot, you know? And, and I don't take that for granted. But yeah, I, I've promised myself, I'll never be the person who just sits by and gleefully says things about people that I care about, and then also joins the group of mourners afterwards and acts like I wasn't part of it. Too many people like to mourn you when you're dead, and they don't say anything to you when you're alive. So I don't know where it'll end or where it won't, <laughs> but that's me.